Dragon. No sound, no end. Thank you, Scooter. And there the game continues with another throw in the middle. Over there in the The ball's down there by the Russian Grace defender. That defender looks up, surveys his options, and kicks back towards Carpenter Nwanyu, who's been very, very good early. And the big fella says, I'm going to kick this. Let's get on my bike. And on his bike, he gets a big fly from the Crows. The big Crows player can't take the mark. And the umpire with the marvellous hat on, slip, slap, slap. Put those hats on here today. That Central Texas sun is going to be beating down on us all day. And I got burnt to an absolute lobster crisp yesterday. Here we go again with the New York Magpies. Anthony Butts on the ball there. He says, Butt, please, I'm going to kick it back towards the middle of the ground. But only as far as the New York Magpies players. <coughs> Uh, excuse you, Scooter. You're running out of breath over there. You gotta take a breath once in a while and then. And it's kicked back down into the near pocket. A couple crows outnumbering the pies, but they can't quite possess it. Number 61, the Taylor, I believe, trying to get a tackle, but it's cleared right into the hands. The big, flowing locks of Jesse Tex Leos, number 11 for the crows, as he kicks along the wing again. He finds another teammate. The crows are gonna look, they're gonna look to put it into their forward 50. He's pointing around. Nice little kick right there. And the mark is taken. He plays on. He shoots for goals. He shoots between the big <laughs> Quick check of the Tony Wood scoreboard here, sees the Austin Crows. Three goals straight, 18. Using that home field to their advantage. They lead New York, yet to score. They have been going down the Central Texas bush into the ground, and they enjoy some of that bush as they lead by 18 points here in the late stages of the first half. They've got some really good players out here, the Crows. Opportunity for the New York Magpies back in the middle of the field. Hard attack on the ball to Michael Spielman, but it's all Crows as they throw the ball forward down towards center half forward. Good hard attack on the ball by the Austin Crows player. But the umpire has paid a free kick and, ladies and gentlemen, a 50 metre penalty for not getting the ball back quickly enough to the New York Magpies as they will have a chance to move it forward here. And they do so, but they do it too quickly as the umpire had not set the mark. The Magpies here, who perhaps will say, Tiger Smith and Todd Smith is going to hopefully look for a little bit of that forward efficiency for the New York Magpies. They have been relatively, relatively inefficient moving the ball forward, Manly. They need to look for those leads here. They do, and hopefully they can take advantage of this wind that's recently picked up a little bit. This is the wind we were accustomed to yesterday, but today it's been relatively calm. The wind helps, helps the Pies. Oh, that's big 61 for the Pies. Chris Keller tried to go up for the big mark, wasn't able to. And the ball rolls out of bounds here in the near side pocket. This wind is picking up right now. I believe it's going to our right to left, as well as away from the bush. So we'll see if New York can take advantage of this breeze. This is not going to be good for the Pies if they don't get a couple goals. And the wind keeps up with the crows. We'll take advantage of the wind. And the wind is going to be able to do it all himself. He's unable to. Finally, the kick has gone off by one of the magpies. That's 28, I believe. That was in right to our end. And it ended up in the hands of the crows. And the crows find their teammate, the official general of Nature before. That is Christopher Samara. Said his name quite a few times. He's had quite a few possessions. But that hit time, his possession turned into a kick for the pies, as it looks to me. Right on the fringe of the 50, would you say, Scooter? This is Chris Giorgio. Giorgio realizes how important this is, getting late into the second half. Big strong lead from number five down there. Or number 50 is what we'll say. 
This is James Williamson, who is on a relatively tight angle here for the New York Magpies. Absolutely crucial kick on goal for the Mighty Mighty Pies. Williamson goes back, slaps the angle beat, and he has gone off the side of his boots. Says, out of bounds on the full Austin Rose ball. Ugly kick there, Scooter. Unlucky, Kurt. Gotta kick it better, gotta kick it straighter. You need six points. One point's gonna not gonna do it for the Pies to win this match as they find themselves trailing on the Coopers, Boomer and Pies, Gorilla, Scooter, Nick Rebo, the Vision One Division Four Women's Division scoreboard. That's three goals, zero, eighteen for the girls. Zero goals, one, one for the Pies. Yeah, 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 yeah. As, as the Pies try to come back and take control of the far end. And again, it's the big weapon for Austin trying to get it out. He's on level two as well. Let's get yeah. back into the floor. 50 for New York. They've got to start capitalizing. But so far, the Austin Crows back line has been just as good. It's not better. We live in a capitalist society and the Austin Crows have absolutely capitalized on their opportunities. As time wears down here in the second half, kick up forward here, keeping his feet quite well was number 50, but what a ferocious, ferocious tackle. Not precocious, but ferocious by Bronson Bartel, perhaps related to Jimmy Bartel with that attack. Here come the Crows for number four, Stefan Park. Oh, yeah. He goes out right now. He goes out right now. Not taking it up there. That is perhaps the same number two up in the aisle. Oh, driving forward down the wind. No one can run into it. You can hear him all go. No one goes going. And he's found the man himself, Grant Campbell, there, mate. Oh, Manly Johnson, the golden voice of the Golden Gate Ruse. What did you see there, mate? Great passage of play by the Crows. Great passage of play. What was key is the speed of Noah Jahangir, the Nunga, as he's known around these parts. He was able to beat his man, come off, come off the bench, beat his man with those fresh legs, and get across the body to his teammate over on the far side, the fat side of the field, if you will, standing all alone, who converts it to six points, which just increases the lead for the Austin Crows right now, as they are dominating. Nobody is I'm happy to see this except the contingent of the New York Pies. But unfortunately, they need to start working harder. They need to start playing better if their pie contingency is going to get happy. It looks like right now we've got number 14 for the Austin Crows, Christopher Samara. Oh, gets a teammate at the top of the 50. And this is number four, Stefan Barr. We've said his name quite a few times as well. He pumps it deep, a little bit wide, right under the chest of a teammate who's gonna have another shot on goal. And if the Pies aren't careful, this game is gonna be out of hand very, very quickly. It looks to me like the Crow lining up is number 19, takes his run up. Number 19 being Simon Boyce. are not ready. Right now, the Cooper scoreboard reads five goals, 30 to zero goals, one, one, 30 to one, a dominating first half so far, Scooter. There can't be much time left in this half. The only pies that'll be happy at the moment are those delicious boomerang pies over there in the food tent. Get a Cooper's ball, you're over there too. It's a marvelous, marvelous combination. The New York Magpies are gonna be cacking their dacks here. They're gonna wanna get a couple of goals here before the end of the first half. But Carpenter Noan Yu says, I've got something to say about that. And here come the Crows again as they drive it forward. 
And ladies and gentlemen, the half-time siren has gone with the Austin Crows absolutely on top here. Five goals straight, 30 leading the New York Magpies. Get to score, Manly. What do you reckon about that first half?